Hey everybody, it's David Pingree with Vital MX. Today we've got another Moto 101 video and we're gonna show you uh, how to get through a section where line selection is super, super critical. So the, the idea of this video today is to show you that by just moving lines, just moving over six, eight inches one way or the other, you can completely change the way uh, a corner works or, or even any kind of section down a straightaway. Um, so a lot of times we tend to get sucked into just whatever the main line is, regardless of the bumps that are in it, and we don't look just to the sides of, of that main line. Uh, we kind of get focused and stuck on what we're doing. So in this corner, you come over a little tabletop jump and it's a 180, but the main line has a huge hole in it before you get into this rut. And that hole upsets the, the whole chassis of the bike. It's really hard to get yourself set into the rut and carry your speed around it with any kind of uh, consistency because that hole is so big. So I simply moved over probably about eight inches, went right beside the hole, dropped into the rut and was able to carry my momentum and carve a nice smooth turn and arc around the corner. So I wanna just kind of walk you through how simple it is, how it, we, we miss these lines all the time and I'm guilty of it as well. Um, if you can just, if you, if you find something on the track that's giving you trouble, don't keep hitting that same line. Let's take a look. All right, in this section here, you can see this turn is a basic 180 degree turn. There's a nice rut through it, but you can see the huge bump leading into the entrance of the turn. But you can see when you go through it the wrong way, hitting this hole, the forks drop way in, the whole chassis gets upset. It wants to throw the back of the bike end up when it comes out of it. And it makes it very difficult to consistently get into that corner and get through it without kind of either understeering or standing up. I saw that there's a smooth line just inside of it. Literally, it, it, it takes no effort to just move over. You drop into the rut just past the hole and you're able to slowly apply throttle and make your way around the turn. But once you make this little adjustment to the left, you drop right in, get around the turn smooth, all, no problem. And this same thing can be applied down straightaways, braking bumps. Uh, braking bumps is where I, I think it, it is the biggest spot that people will just focus on the main line no matter what's in it and they're gonna hit it. Where if they would just move over six, eight inches or a foot to one side or the other, you could miss all those bumps. And that makes a big difference at the end of a moto. So that's it, pretty straightforward, pretty basic. The next time you're out riding, take a second, go look at it, see if you can move over to one side or the other a little bit and miss whatever that problem area is. It might be as simple as one foot to the left or right. They could completely change the track for you. Thanks for watching Moto 101. We'll see you the next time out.